something about these international dishes seems fishy. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Today, with mouths wide open, we are venturing into international waters. We can get away with anything. Yeah, like removing the international locks from an international bagel. Mm, well, the court of internet judgment has a jurisdiction I don't think you'll ever escape. Mm, well, let's find out. It's time for Where, Where in the World Do These International Seafood Dishes Come From? All right, boys, today we've got a selection of international seafood dishes for you to try and subsequently throw a dart at the country you think they came from from after you throw your dart chase the seafaring cartographer will measure how far you are from the correct answer land ho what'd you call me yeah <laughs> you heard me <laughs> land <laughs> whoever loses must feed treats the to the ho. winner via fishing pole <laughs> and good mythical more and link you're up first and you know what else i'm on a winning streak how many streaks Uno. Oh. Uh, I did not use the veto Cheeto that I see yeah, is yeah. now on your side. Yeah, so basically. Now you get to. What get I'm going to do is if I d think you've done too good of a throw, at any moment I can veto Cheeto. You have to throw it again. We'll see how that works. You didn't end up using it last time. What, what, this is so cheesy. What is this disc? That's a shrimp. Oh, I like shrimp. Well, okay, there's probably one on your side of the pan. <laughs> Oh, there's shrooms in there. Cheese, shrooms, good gosh. Oh. You know, some people say you can't put cheese in a seafood dish. Those people aren't where these people are making this dish. I was in Miami. Remember that? When I was shamed by a waiter for asking if there was cheese in the seafood dish and they were like, oh. We would never. You don't put cheese in a seafood dish. <laughs> Yeah, Link, I think Well, I don't, I don't tip a waiter who Whoa. talks to me that Whoa. way. Whoa! Ouch! Cheese in a seafood dish is awesome! I think about that moment every week, at least once. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, when you said Miami, the first thing I thought about was that waiter and the cheese and the fish. You and, do and remember. And how you embarrassed yourself and me, because I was there with you. And then I had to double tip because you didn't tip. And really, I've held it against you ever since, and I'm glad you brought it up now. Look at this map. It's kind of got a shiplap situation. Yeah, that map's got crab. Uh, All it takes is one crab to have a case am, of crab. Am I darting first? Because... Yeah, you're in a lead, man. You won last time. Mm. Man, that is good. There's not really anything... Any other deciding factors? This could be Falkland Islands. Lots of shrimp down there. It feels like it would be... It's time. It feels like it's time for you Falkers to put Falkland Island in there. Can't help but notice a new country, Turkey. Turkey? Turkey? Turkey. 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 What? That's what they're calling Turkey. We'll get now. better at it, Turkey. This is what <laughs> Turkey has wanted to be called for some time, is what I understand. It's not spicy. It's just plain cheesy shrimpy goodness. Don't overthink it. I just feel like. I, I, I'm gonna have to go with Italy because it's like a pasta Italian dish. Well, it's wide open for you. I'm not standing in your way. In fact, I'm right behind you. Oh, a little low. And I know that I'm closer to the map than he is. Whoa, 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 no, I wasn't, that was not what I was saying. And he can get closer to the map if he wants to. It's, I don't care. It never seems to help. Um, it doesn't help, see? So, I've been to a tapas restaurant. Not a topless restaurant, don't get it twisted. And at that tapas restaurant, which is like Spanish tapas, I had a thing like this. There was cheese with shrimp on it, or shrimp with cheese on it. I thought about Spain myself. Well, you're pretty close to Spain. Uh, my problem lately has just been, even, it doesn't matter how close I am, I just can't seem to accurately throw. Oh, but maybe yes. it's a new day. That was good though, man. That was a good aim. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this. Land ho. This said a kaleidoscope. It was nice. <laughs> you just had curry dress kuvich. 
This dish made of fresh prawns cooked in a garlicky tomato and mushroom sauce and topped with cheese is a common appetizer served in seafood restaurants in Turkey. -ay. Turkey, -ay? turkey -ay right off the bat. You don't bat. turkey -ay say. <laughs> yes. I'm closer. Yeah, good job, Link. I think you've gotten your vitamin C today. Oh. Because that was a good throw. S-E-A. <laughs> Link, you had eight. Rhett, 15. Ooh. Ouch. Turkey, yay. Can we make an announcement? Oh, yes, we can. And can we make, like, maybe the biggest announcement that we made in a really long time yeah. right now? How about we announce something that many of you, many of you have been asking for, for what I would say is, like, Years. a decade, maybe. Maybe. Over a decade, you've been asking for something, and we're about to announce. You know what? We shouldn't even announce it. We're not going to announce well, it. You know what? We're not going to announce we're not even worthy the of thing that it. you've been asking to be announced for a decade. Josh, why don't you come in here? I think you should do the honors. It's a big announcement, guys. I don't know if they're ready for the big announcement. I think they're ready. You think ready. they're ready? You yes. think they're ready? Can yes. you give me a little drum roll? Maybe a bigger drum roll. There it is. The Mythical Cookbook is finally available for pre-order, and we wrote it, and there's all your favorite recipes from the entire Mythical canon. We are talking about stuff that even predates me. There's OG Chase recipes in there that we Whoa. have actually retrofitted so you can cook in your own home. I contributed. We've all been working super hard on this. We are super, super stoked. I normally make a joke about everything, but this is just a genuine There's moment. no jokes here. Listen, I know how hard you've been working on this, how hard the team's been working on this. It's a cookbook. cookbook. <laughs> The mythical cookbook. Again, you've been asking for this. How do I make this? Why don't you guys do a cookbook? Well, you know when we do something, we like to do it, right? We like to wait until we can make it what it needs to be. And Josh and this the team it. have spent so much time on this thing. As you can see, I mean, we did make it onto the cover. Um, and this is just one of, I mean, one of the best parts of this beyond how good the food is that you'll be able to create is all the things that you get to look at, not just us. But uh, there's people and there's food all it's throughout this. It was a lot of fun. Book, I would say as much as it is a cookbook. It's very visually yeah. It's engaging. for cooking on your coffee table. I'm in here for like the literary genius of it all. As the person who wrote it, there's a moment where a cartoon link gets dragged to hell. Right, let's not get, let's not saying, give away too stuff. much. There's good stuff. Let's not give away too much yet. But listen, it doesn't come out until March. So if you want to get this thing, if you want to be one of the first people to get this thing, you can go right now and pre-order it at mythical.com slash cookbook. Mythical.com slash cookbook. Get it before anybody else gets it. Okay? Remember when we were shirtless by the pool and you shoved the thing in my mouth? Don't give oh, away too yeah. much. That's what I'm just saying. That was I'm my favorite saying. part. Right. I'll see you guys. Take it, take it. All right. So get off our backs about the cookbook. It's happening. Uh, Link, I'm sure you're excited. Is this, what, some sort of a carrot? Mm. It's, I would think that I would want some of it's this. It's a fish carrot. Some of this dill right along with it. Oh man, it smells like a campfire. So it's like a slice of, who is? It's a smoked fish with dill. Dry, it's actually smoked. Pretty, pretty tasty. Yeah, I really, you know what I really like? Dill. What do you like about it specifically? <laughs> it's one of the oceans. Chase, come on now. <laughs> Mythical cookbook, you gonna pre-order one? Oh yeah, I already put it in my pre-order. You make it, you, you made some appearances in it, didn't you? Yeah, I, I thought that's what you guys were talking about when you said there was like a lot of visuals. A lot stuff. of visuals. Yeah, a lot of great visuals. Chase has a centerfold. <laughs> Dried and smoked and dilled. Dilled. What's the dill? It's really bringing Norway. Uh, I mean, is right? It, is it giving Norway, would you say that? It's like, bringing me to Norway. It's really giving so that Norway? It can give me Norway. It's sweet, too. There's a sweetness It's giving to it. it's, sweet. It's very sugary. It's giving sugary. I officially like it, but it's gotta be Norway. Oh, that was a week. Weak throw. I gotta throw through the okay. map next time. You know the only thing that makes me get that gives me pause, and I don't mean P A W S. Yeah, I thought that is the Falkland Islands. They could do it because you know they probably do doing this kind of thing down there. They're probably letting things sit out down there. I can't let myself be Falkland into it. It's giving Norway so hard, and Trust you your gut, and, and you actually didn't do that great of a throw. No. So there's a window. Of opportunity. I don't know what I did last time, but I would like to recreate it in the technique. 
Hey, ho! You just had salmon candy. Though Sweet. not technically candy, strips of salmon are cured in a mix of salt and sugar and then covered in maple syrup and smoked to get a sweet flavor maple in syrup. Canada. Canada. Oh, maple man. Syrup. When Look, she said maple, I knew it was Canada. I am still closer than you. No, you're not. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, Link, you had 44. Rhett, 38. Huh, okay, I'll take it. Oh. What is that? I feel like I need to eat this with a spoon. It's like little globules of. Oh no, this has it's got o- tentacles. It's, it's octopus, man. Oh, you're so smart. Not anymore, though. That has got a salty sauce. That's strong, man. Hmm. So I'm still going first. Because I, I am one centimeter in the liter. Huh, this is, um... Uh, doesn't it taste bad? It's chewy as you would expect. Hmm. I, I just get sad, I, you know. Don't think I, about it too much, man. You can have quite a relationship with an octopus if it's still alive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. You saw my octopus teacher, I believe. Yeah, I did. I try not to think about that. Am I having great, an imami experience? Great film. I think I am. I was hoping you wouldn't say that, Link. Yeah, the soy. I don't soy, like it when you talk about my mommy. It's giving soy. Should I completely commit to the Philippines? Dang it. I was hoping you would say Spain, but then as as you were beginning to think, I was beginning to taste soy sauce. Hmm. Well, you can get closer. Well, the first thing I thought was Spain because every time you go to a Spanish restaurant, they have octopus on the menu, but never once has it been flavored like this. And this is a distinctly soy the ends of the tentacles look like corn is on the cobs. Yeah. That's how I get through it, man. I just make myself think I'm eating co- stupid corn. <sighs> Philippines, man. I hate to copy you, but I think you're right. It's way over there, isn't it? Your aim is impeccable. Uh, you just had Adobong Pugita, okay. a.k.a. octopus stewed in soy vinegar sauce. This marinated octopus dish is commonly served with steamed rice on the side and accompanied with beer in the Philippines. Beer. Beer. You've taken the lead, sir. Not by much, though. This is a tight game. All right, before I reveal the scores, can you guys call me Chase in Momoa? Uh, I'm sorry, Chase. Uh, let me sell it. Let me sell it. There's only one, Hello, there's only one wish.com Jason Momoa call around me, here, man. But like, it has me. But I'm on Aquaman. Okay. You both had five. Whoa. <laughs> I guess that could happen. It's like within within. Has the that ever happened? Centimeter of five. So it's still This is the five. tightest game we've ever had. Oh, it's, it's as tight as the space between Falkland and Islands. <laughs> Ooh, full fishes. May I do the honor? Yeah, do the honors. Let's let's sword fight with these sardines. Oh, oh. I don't think there's going to be much of a fight. I'll just take the one that, that, that came off of yours. Oh, look at the inside of that fish, man. This is just straight up, I think you're right, sardines. We got bones. We got lots of bones. I know. I'm trying to get a, a boneless portion. Oh, gosh. That is pungent. They didn't do a lot to that. Oh. You know what I'm saying? They've they've glazed it in what? Ocean water? It definitely, yeah. <laughs> Something else from a fish. <coughs> it's like they took fish that had been in a bucket, took the juice, and put that juice on more fish. Ugh. Hmm. You should have used that Vito Cheeto in the last round, man. I forgot I had it. Thinking thinking it was Philippines and I was right there on it. Yeah. That I was forgot the you had it. opportunity. But you know what? I mean, maybe, you know, maybe, maybe I'll do it now. Where would they just pluck a sardine out of the sea, skewer it over an open flame, if they can keep it going up there in Norway? Yeah. Yeah, it's too cold for fire. Mm, that they just love fishes so much, like, oh, you need not do anything to this. In their Norwegian accent. Yep. 
I got to go back to Norway for a second time. Oh, a little high. Do you like that? You want to veto me? Veto doesn't mean I have to throw somewhere else, does it? No, it just means you have to throw again. Throw. Because how? Because how would throw. I know? How would I know you were throwing it at someplace else? You know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. So, could it be something else? You think it's Spain? Oh man, Link. Have we? So we've had Canada, the Philippines, and we've had Turkey. Eh? But there's a lot of stuff going on in that Mediterranean Sea there, south of Norway. And then there's still the Falkland Islands, and they're gonna use them. And this could be Chile because. I mean, look, it's basically all sardine opportunity right there with Chile. Mm -hmm. well, I think Chile in English means sardine opportunity. It's the land of sardine opportunity. It's the land of sardine opportunity. We are all basically sardine opportunity. I mean, look how many opportunities you have for sardines, Link. I thought miles just, and miles. I thought it was called the shoestring country. Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe in your encyclopedia. But I think, I don't know. Weirdly, I think it might be Egypt because of the delta. Yeah, me too. The Delta. But I'm going to kind of just try to go Mediterranean Sea here. Oh, oh man. I actually did not mean to get that close to Egypt. I like that throw because it's not at the right place. You just had espetos. This traditional form of grilling sardines dates back to the late 19th century when fishermen skewered and grilled surplus fish in small boats on the sand. You can find these in many beach bars in Spain. Oh, I told you. Mediterranean. Dang, son. I made up a little ground there, Link. Made up a little ground. Yeah, Link, you had 23, Rhett, nine. <sighs> Pulled ahead for South Norway. Pulled ahead. Hey, look. Hello, Link. pizza. This looks like something you'd like. It looks like it's got shrimps on it. Oh, really? That's a Not, shrimp. Yeah, I gotta get this one. What's this sauce? What is that dough? Maybe it's more of a, like a tortilla? What is this sauce? Thanks. I haven't tasted this sauce yet. Let me taste that sauce. That, soy sauce? It's got a, I mean, that's the thing. It's got this soy. Now you're going first. Yes. So let me hear it. If, you, if the sauce was not here, I would be observing the fact that this is very tortilla-like and it has jalapenos on it. And I would be like, go on. This is coming from Central or South America. Go on. But then when I taste this sauce, Mm-hmm. I think not just soy sauce, but almost a fish sauce, which is distinctly Asian. Go on. And so that puts me, I have to make a choice. And basically, you'll probably, if you're smart, just do the opposite of what I did and hope that I was uh, wrong. Right, because I'm up by 13, and what are the chances you get closer to? <sighs> Could be 100%. If I was a time traveler. Maybe there's an analog sauce that's made it to this part of the world. I don't feel great about this, but I'm basically going for Northern South America. Okay. Argentina. Or Florida. Yeah, there you go, get some keys. Oh, so now you've got a real choice. Yeah, I do, because I can go for Argentina, which is my guess. I think that they've got some sort of Argentinian soy, but yeah, I mean it's a frittata. Oh, I don't feel great about I mean, what I just did. It could be. It's Maybe it's from Florida. You know, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna stick with my Argentine answer, and I gotta go for the gusto. Oh, that's a little low. Close to the Falkland Islands. I don't want to veto you. Come on, because man. Because it wouldn't be strategic to do that. I know why you didn't use it last time, because... You waited too late. No, because that actually, unless it's Argentina, which, boy, I would be so impressed with you. Listen, if it's Argentina, I will never again think about that moment in Miami where you embarrassed yourself. <laughs> I'll just stop thinking about it. Are you serious? I'm serious. I'll never think about it again. If it's Argentina, never think about it again. I will have it surgically removed from my brain. Okay. 
Wow. A lot riding on this. You just had Heimuljun, hey aka who? a seafood pancake. Often paired with a milky rice wine, it's said you should enjoy this on a rainy day in South Korea. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> I left the door wide and open. I didn't walk through it. Wide open. And I think I'm actually a little bit closer, Link. So it looks like you're going to be needing this next time, not to get presumptuous, but... Uh, and I'll be thinking about that Miami situation quite a bit from now on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rhett, 64, Link, 68. Oh, oh man, it, you pulled it off. It was a good tight match. Nobody tight match. wants to veto anybody, but rest assured, if given the opportunity, next time, I will use this to its full power. But in the meantime, you're going to feed me with a fishing pole in Good Mythical More. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. I'm JC and I'm Shaylin, and we're fishing on Lake Sakakawea in North Dakota. And, and it's, it's time, time to spin, spin the wheel, wheel of mythicality. There are people up there. <laughs> and they fish. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we're gonna do in Good Mythical More? We're going to break open some crew phones and look at their text messages. And you can find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. We're finally releasing a cookbook featuring fan favorite dishes from GMM and Mythical Kitchen and tons of completely new original recipes. Pre-order now at mythical.com slash cookbook.